I don't feel so good. What up, everybody? I hope you're feeling good and feeling great. I'm not feeling good, and I'm certainly not uh, feeling great on day two and a half of uh, some sort of illness, respiratory, uh, weak. Uh, so the doctor is on the way to uh, give me a dengue or dengue test uh, here and maybe do some other blood work. They tell me I'm going to get the results back in about uh, 20 or so um, hours. But yeah, very congested, have a cough, very weak. Uh, last night I was just sweating, sweating, soaking through the bed. And I have come in contact with so many people over the past week who are like, I'm sick, I've got a virus, I've got a sore, sore throat, I've got a stomach issue, I've got a fever. Uh, I swear, the, in <laughs> the entire country of Bangladesh is sick right now. Everyone blames it on the weather change. Uh, we're still in Dhaka. Uh, I was actually supposed to leave in two days, but I'm gonna stay a little longer now to recover and uh, hopefully feel better and do a, do a few more things here, have a couple uh, meals that I've been wanting to have again and, and say goodbye to the people that really made a, a difference in my life here, people I really, really care about a lot. So I feel better than I did yesterday. I don't think I have dengue. Uh, I just took my temperature downstairs, um, but the doctor is on its way, so you're gonna see what it's like when a doctor makes a house call. I've never had a doctor make a house call before, I wonder how much this is going to cost me. They told me it was only like 300 taka for the dengue test, which is like $3. I'm like, there's no way a doctor is going to come all the way over here and take a sample for just $3. This doesn't make any sense, right? Hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning, how are you? I have that, uh, you sick? Yes. So do you need any kind of help, like, uh, to call doctor? Or do the doctor's you... coming. No, like, if you tell me, then oh. I go to our ACM sir and to talk about you, you are sick. Uh, thank you. Uh, what's your name? My name is Gulam Mawla. Uh, Mawla, and what is your friend's name? Uh, Muhammad Manik. Hi, Muhammad Manik. Uh, okay, so we are staying at the A. Scott Hotel. This is where my Bangladesh journey started, and well, this is where it's ending. But, well, hopefully not ending like that, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, the, the hotel staff has been so incredibly kind, so very helpful. These guys just came to check on me. Really, really appreciate it, guys. No, thank, thank you. you we hope you... <coughs> You are, uh, okay, sir. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Take care, guys. Yes, I will let you know if I need anything. Yes, Have a good day. Sir. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. And the doctor has arrived. Apnar naam ki? Aman naam Nikhil Chandra Dhar. And you're with uh, Prava, Prava Health Laboratory. Prava Health. Okay, and the doctor is gonna uh, help me out here. We're gonna we're gonna take some blood, I think, and uh, see what's wrong with me. I've never had a house call by a doctor, so this is gonna be a, a crazy, crazy experience. But he's got the, uh, I don't know, the, the dish over here with some stuff in it. And uh, he's got the stethoscope, let me know. He's putting on the glasses. Before the doctor came, uh, well, again, the, the lovely ladies at the front desk, Tasvia and Zanet, um, organized so this. What is the name? Brent Tim. Brent Tim, okay. Yep. But I got the confirmation on my phone, and it said Brent Tim. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> Din. Okay, so he's busting out what I think he's gonna use to collect the blood here. Okay. Now I'm gonna put on the. Uh, I don't even know what you call this thing. Like. Sir, uh, make a fist. Make a fist, okay? Din, okay. Making the fist. Uh -huh. They wanna find that vein, and he is disinfecting the vein. Oh, and uh, I guess we'll show that going in. Can we show that? I never usually watch it go in, but I'm gonna watch it for y'all because no, y'all had to watch okay. it. Okay. Okay. And here we go. I don't even know if we can show this on the video, but I don't know. I don't think YouTube likes blood. Maybe we're gonna block that out. And uh, he's putting the other vial in there, and the blood's coming out. Oh. Um. Wait. Why is my blood green? Just kidding, guys. Very good, doctor. Don't done. about. Don't done. about. Done. Okay. All done. Not done. Okay, now we're putting that right there and we're clenching it to keep it disinfected. My man has the sample of that, that cranberry juice colored blood. Very good, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Donobad. Come on, Nacho. Alhamdulillah. Although I'm sick, so I don't know if you can say Alhamdulillah when you're sick. I guess I'm just Balo. I'm not good either. How do you say sick in Bangla? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. No, he's applying the... Okay. Okay, done. done. Finish, finish. Don't know about it. Okay, thank you so much, my man. Really, really appreciate that. 
If you're curious what's going to happen next for the video, we're going to wait for the results. But I'm also going to show you. 2020 taka. 2020 taka. That's about $22. That's a mega deal for uh, for some at home blood blood testing. 2020. I don't have the 20. I think all I have is 2000. Boom. A big, big cash stacks here. Um, okay. Here is, uh, here is 2000 and the front desk will give you uh, the 20. The front desk will give you the 20. Is that okay? Yes. Yes. I'll got no small bills on me. So, uh, yeah, 2000, less than 20 bucks for a uh, blood test. And, and so this, this test for dengue, dengue, dengue plus CBC plus CBC complete blood count. Complete blood count. Okay. Amazing. Thank you, brother. Hopefully my blood count is strong. When I had typhoid in uh, Dubai and Pakistan, man, my blood count was so messed up. Those platelet levels were bad. So we got to wait 20 minutes, or sorry, like 20 hours to get the results. Well, when when will the results come? Mm, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. tonight? Yeah. Oh, okay. Report. All right, we're going to get, we're going to get. Okay. So we're going to get results at 8 p.m. That's awesome. As you can see, a very professional situation. My man had gloves. My man had the mask. Primo. Primo. Uh, so we're going to wait till 8 p.m. So stand by. But we're going to order some food from a pizza place that is apparently has the best pizza here in Bangladesh. The best delivery pizza. It's like a secret pizza place that only like the diplomats know about. It ain't, it ain't cheese. It ain't digger. It ain't any of those places. This is going to be some Primo Prime pizza. Also, let me know in the comments below what medicines you think I should be taking. Personally, I don't like to take medicines. Unless I gotta go do something and be active, maybe I'll take like what would be the equivalent of like a Dayquil. But I, I just like things to happen naturally. I just like things to happen naturally. You know, I, I sometimes I'll take a pill to like stop my runny nose, but I just don't think that most medicines are good for you. Crazy, crazy opinion. I'm not anti-medicine. I'm just, I like for things to work themselves out naturally. All right, it's about six o'clock. The pizza has been ordered, but I hear a knock on the door. And uh, my friend here, Apnar Namki? Abu Bakor. Abu Bakor. Yes. That's the first Abu Bakor I've met here in uh, Bangladesh. Oh my gosh, and you're the employee of the month. Yeah, two, two, two times. Yes. Very Mark nice. And, me. and uh, they brought me a get well soon coconut from uh, M. Roussel. Yes. Wow, thank you Our so much. Our hotel manager, Mr. Russell. Tell him thank you thank so you. much. Enjoy. That really means a lot to me. Yes, enjoy your coconut. I appreciate that, brother. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank take, you, sir. Take care. Thank you, brother. Yes, you. Have a nice evening. It means a lot to me. Yeah, thank you, man. Wow. The, the Ascot Hotel just hooking it up. I got the laptop going over there, watching a little hard knocks, watched a little bit of The Godfather today. Oh my gosh, this is like the heaviest coconut ever. Oh, thank you. And Pizza de Wale. There, there's your tip, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you. Sir, pronto. Pronto. Thank you, man. Thank I you. appreciate Bye. that. Pronto. And we got the pizza here. Pronto. Salam alaikum. Oh, they're going to they're gonna get the door for me. Thank you. Apanar Nam Ki? Krishna. Thank you, Vishnu. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, my God. Set off alarms. It's the, it's the pizza alarm. Quickly shuffling to my room. Oh, it smells so good. All right. We got to bust out the light for the, uh, to get a real clear view of this. Here we go. Pizza de Wale. So check it out. They had about they had, like I said, they had like 15 types of pizza, pepperoni, sausage, all the regular ones. But I was like, I want something that the Bengali people would order. So I got the tandoori chicken along with the black beef. Is black beef like kalabuna? This looks so good. Whoops, there are like a bunch of lights that I didn't know how to turn on in here. One thing I've noticed about Bangladesh is every hotel has so many light switches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, uh, those are for the outlets. Um, 10, and 11, 12, 13, 14, and well, I guess this one too, 15. 15 light switches, that's crazy, yo. And Wally just actually messaged me and apologized because I told him I didn't want any black olives. Black olives are so gross. Black olives are the worst thing in the world. And, or, or sweet corn on, he's like, whoops, sorry. My pizza chef put on the black olives mm. and sweet corn. If you want another one, we'll send them. Like, nah, man, you don't gotta, you don't gotta do all that for me, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Well, let's just go go in straight off the rip. I'm gonna take a little bite because I do want to enjoy this uh, in silence. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh man, 
this thing this thing looks it looks nice it looks like typical uh, Italian style crossed authentic pow mmm mm -hmm. mm -hmm. thin crust good cheese I've got my sense of taste still I think my taste might be a little dull because anytime I have a, like a runny stuffed nose my taste is not there mmm I should get some of that black beef. Mmm. Mm hmm Black beef is spicy. Ooh, really spicy. That's good. That's what's up. Now let's try a bite of the tandoori chicken. They also had a butter chicken pizza. And I was like, ooh, kinda, I kind of want to try that too. Um, got a nice cheese bowl here. We got some capsicum. Some onions. Pow. Mmm, 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 mmm. Very good, very savory. That's a good pizza. I definitely feel like I'm not, I'm tasting maybe 80% of the flavors though because I'm sick, but it's good. This one's spicy too. The chicken is uh, really tender. I like the onion on there. The capsicum is nice though. Mm -hmm. Crispy crust on the end, soft, thin crust. It's not chewy. I've had a lot of pizzas in Bangladesh that are way too chewy. Pizza Day Wally, this is what's up. Is this the best pizza I've had in Bangladesh? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm gonna eat the rest of this in silence and watch some TV. And uh, hopefully these results come uh, in a little bit, y'all. I'm feeling good now that I got a little bit of food in my stomach. Skrrr! All right, it is the next day, despite the fact that I'm wearing the same shirt as I was yesterday and the day before. That's only because when I'm sick, I don't like to wear other clothes. I'm like, this is my sick shirt. I'm gonna get it washed after I'm done being sick. I don't wanna wear other clothes while I'm sick. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but yeah, sorry for being gross. Same shirt that I've had on for three days. Well, the results didn't come at 8 p.m. last night. They didn't even come at 8 a.m. this morning. They came at the time is 1.16 p.m. And here we go, y'all. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better today. Like, <coughs> actually, that's the first time I've like had to talk today. Uh, I'm feeling better. Like, don't have don't have the uh, chills anymore. I don't think I ever had a fever. Um, I've had an appetite, as you saw at the pizza. Oh, two restaurants have also said they're gonna send me some comfort food tonight. So even after I read my results, we're gonna stick around to see what kind of foods I show. And they told me it's gonna be a surprise. One one is gonna be from that pizza place again, but they told me they're not sending pizza. And then the other place is, well, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it has really, really good food. Okay, it's a PDF file laboratory report. Let's get straight into it. Um, but yeah, I don't think I have dengue. I don't think I have dengue. Um, okay, so I guess I could, uh, I'm not going to show you, like, it has all my personal information on here, but I got the complete blood count, like, all the blood tests were run, so, like, white blood count, red blood count. According to this, it says that my red cell distribution with CV, the RDW CV, is a bit low, okay? And now, normally, it's normal when you have a virus or a viral infection or you're sick that some of your measurements are going to be off. Uh, everything else looks normal. My EOS inofil, what is that? I've never heard of that, is also low, but just a tiny, tiny bit low. Um, everything, oh, this one's red, which means high, is my ESR. Uh, it should be 10, 0 to 10, but it's at 12. Okay, I've actually had ESR a few times, high ESR a few times in my life as I've dealt with infections. You know, I've been sick all over the world. So 12 is not bad. I think I had like a ESR like 20 one time or something crazy. So, uh, okay, but where's the dengue? I, I pronounce it dengue. I think most of the world calls it dengue, but here they call it dengue for some reason. Uh, all right, here it is. Negative, negative, negative. All right. Well, that's it. We're negative. No dengue. And the goods have arrived. Okay, even though it says Fat Emperor, I think this came from the Laughing Buddha. If you remember from the video, maybe one or two videos ago, we went to the Laughing Buddha and Fat Emperor um, on my how to impress a, a beautiful Bangladeshi uh, girl video and the food was absolutely banging. And so the owner messaged me and saw that I was sick. He's like, dude, I got the perfect comfort food for you. And it's some sort of soup. Yo, check it out. It's like a, is it a, it's a wonton soup. Look at these massive, massive noodles, y'all. Wow, we've got the giant thick, 
um, flour noodles, and then we got the wontons in there, which I'm gonna guess are either stuffed with some sort of beef uh, or maybe some sort of chicken. Let's not even play around. Let's stop wasting our time, right? Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's comfort food, baby, that's good. Yeah, I think it's chicken wonton soup. That's a banger. It's got that hearty, like chicken stock flavor to it. The broth is really, really nice. Ooh, it's good. I needed something like this. I needed, I needed something like this. This this guy knew what was what was up. Thank you, my man. Much, much appreciated. Shout out Laughing Buddha. Look at the size of these dumplings. They're like so so big. I don't even know like how I'm gonna get get this one in my mouth. Here we go. Pow. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely chicken. I got soup all over my beard now. That is a banger. And tonight's next meal has arrived. Pizza Day Wally just called me again. They said, I'm sending you three foods. The guy's downstairs. So, got a nice tip for uh, the gentleman. Again, Pizza Day Wally said they're not going to charge me for this food. So, always going to give the honest review. But you got to take care of the delivery drivers, you dig? And I know that tipping culture really doesn't exist in Bangladesh. Um, but do people here tip the delivery drivers? Like, do you tip the food panda guys? Oh, that's not Malika. Oh man, this isn't my delivery guy. This is Glass Man. Hello. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Come on. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Man, that was a big piece of glass. Thank you, brother. Careful with that thing. Slice somebody open with that. Assalamu alaikum. You're good. We met you last night, right? Oh. There you go, brother. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so sir. much. And we got Thank two you. nice little bags from Pizza Day Wally. Good evening. How are you guys? Fine, Good, good. Nice to see you. Oh my gosh, yo. They went, they went crazy, y'all. They went crazy, y'all. What the heck? Wow, this is like nuclear grade. So hot. I can't even, wow. Ah, check it out. They told me they were just sending three things. We got a box. We got this. We got this. We got this. Yo, what in the world are we working with here? Man. All right, well, this one's the hottest, so we're gonna pop this one open first and uh, let it let it breathe a little bit. You guys are seeing the full, oh man, this looks, it feels like a lasagna, it looks like a lasagna. Oh, it's so hot. Oh my gosh, look at that ravioli. Yeah, that's gonna be so bomb. Oh, you can smell it. You can smell the basil coming off, right off of it. Okay, maybe my, maybe my sense of smell has bounced back. What do we got here? Whoa! No way! <gasps> oh yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Big brownie action. My man took care of me. Wally coming through. Whoa. <gasps> Meatballs. Meatballs. Oh wow. It smells so, so good. Everything here is super hot. Look at that. <laughs> the oil and the sauce just coming off my fingers from opening it up. Oh, you know we gotta get that bread. You know we gotta get that bread. And finally, last but not least, what do we have here? Oh, wow. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm so excited for the food, I didn't even notice that there was this rubber band around it. Oh my gosh. I think these are called arancini. Oh, I didn't mean for that to happen, but uh, they're like balls that are stuffed with rice and cheese. And I might as well get straight into it, pow. Very good, very good rice very nice it's like it's kind of like a giant mozzarella stick with rice Ooh, that's good batter very flaky yum very very savory okay it looks like they've they've included some like maybe some cheese with the meatballs as well yeah i think there's a little like parmesan cheese in there nice little tiny meatballs nice a nice a good size of meatball a power mm. oh wow mm-hmm and these are beef meatballs, of course, no pork on the fork. At least I think they're beef meatballs. Huh? I think they're beef. I do, maybe this, I don't know, maybe this restaurant does serve pork because they serve so many diplomats. But it's got to be crazy hard and expensive to get pork in Bangladesh, right? Either way, these are amazing. Really, really good. I'm going back for another one. High quality meatballs, good quality beef was used. That's an impressive meatball. Did not expect to have a meatball that good. That's a big guy to ravioli. I'm also part Italian, so I'm allowed to do the accent. Don't want to get canceled or anything here. Um, okay, we got a big, nice big piece of ravioli. I wonder if it's cheese or beef ravioli. I'm gonna take a half bite. Mmm, wow, that's hot. Mmm, whoa, 
Okay, it's spinach. Spinach ravioli. I think there's some cheese in there as well. No beef. That's a, oh my gosh, I almost knocked all those, all those meatballs all over the floor. That's a banger. That's really, really good. I haven't had fresh spinach in Bangladesh yet, I don't think. Have I? Yeah. Actually, I've had it in a couple entrees, but this is really, really good. Impressive pasta. Like I said earlier in the video, like, yeah, yeah. this guy definitely spent some time in Sicily. Cause this is, oof, I gotta be careful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat too much food and get a stomach ache. This is so, so good. Okay, it's brownie time. And the brownie's kind of hot. Warm, warm brownie. Oh, wow. But check that out. So you break it off and it's got like that crust, the brownie crust on the outside and then, ooh, it's, maybe there's some nuts in there too. Maybe it looks, it already feels like super, super moist. Pow. Mm -hmm, mm. It's almost like cake. It's ooey. It's gooey. That's a good brownie. Oh yeah, there's some nuts. I think peanuts in there. That's good. A nice rich chocolate flavor. A great meal. A really, really good meal, and uh, this definitely cheered me up um, after being sick for the past couple days. So, major shout out to everybody at the Ascot Hotel who was so nice and uh, sent me the coconuts and sent me the chocolates. Major thanks to everybody at Pizza de Wally who sent me the pizza, who sent me the brownie, the ravioli, all the other Italian foods. And major, major shout out to our friend at the Laughing Buddha Fat Emperor who sent me all that delicious, who sent me that delicious soup. I guess it was wonton soup. He texted me and told me that it was wonton soup. So from the bottom of my heart, very thankful uh, for all the kindness that everyone has shown me, um, both with words and nice messages over Instagram and other social media apps. And then of course, literally to my door with, with food, the best like gift of all. My name's Brent Tim from Dhaka, Bangladesh, and I'm saying ciao for now.